Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Mike, and today is another Ning tutorial for you guys to learn. And today I'm going to show you how to add your own logo on the bottom page of your website or, you know, any four, one of the four corners of your website. And it's going to be pretty cool and very easy to learn. So this was brought to me, or to my attention, by Stefan Ball by, on Ning Creators. It was um, in a discussion of tutorials and how to's and I happened to come across it and it seemed very easy. So I did it and it came out really good. So for an example, I'm going to zoom in for you guys to show you this. This is on my website right here on Ning site. Um, if I scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down for you guys. Um, if you see right here, there's the little logo I have with my where it says MD right here. That's for Mike's Designs, and I did that because you know it looks really cool. So it's gonna be on every page you go to. So if it, even if it's on a page or a form or a blog post, I'll just go to my blogs or something like that. Let's see if I click blogs, and um, after it loads up, you can still see after you scroll all the way down in your blogs or groups or whatever it is. You're still gonna see that your logo right there, so it could be anything. Um, pretty cool. All right, so like I said, this was brought to me by Stefan Bowl. This is not my tutorial, but I'm actually gonna recreate it in a video form for you guys. He actually does explain it in text very clearly for you guys to understand. So either way, um, I'm gonna put a link to the, this tutorial on Ning Creators, so you guys can follow along on the, the text, and you know you guys gonna be following along with this video. Alright, so what he's saying is basically you're gonna have an image, right? And so you select whatever image you have, if it's your logo, if it's a certain uh you know, image that's in a transparent background, which kinda works well um to me. And um, you know, you're gonna uh hit a little preview of how it's gonna look. So like I showed you before, um you're gonna be in whatever page or form and you're gonna have that same logo appear right where you want it to. And this one happens to be at the bottom right hand corner. So basically, only thing you're gonna really need, and I'm gonna highlight this and zoom in for you guys, is this code right here. This code is gonna help you um, apply your image, your logo to pretty much any one of the four corners of your website. <laughs> but I um, prefer either the bottom right hand or the bottom left hand corner of your website just so it doesn't get in the way of anything else you may have on your site. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. So basically, you're gonna want to go to your appearances and upload an image to your body um, sec section of your um, your uh, appearance tab. So I'm just gonna go to my appearance tab. I'm gonna go to manage, and this only works if you're a network creator. So please be aware of that. All right. So once you go to manage and you're in your dashboard, click on appearances right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then here's your list of themes and stuff like that. Um, what you're going to need to do first is click on all options. Right? And right where it says, I'm going to highlight this area right here. Um, body image. You're going to make sure you click on a little photo icon. And it's going to say upload image. You click on that. And then you want to upload your image. You want to make sure it's a good size. And if it is a, bit, a black background like me, you don't want anything other than black. Um, with your logo make sure your logo is in a transparent background and then save it as a let's say a PNG and um, upload your file so I already have a file here and you guys already saw the MD logo but I'm gonna upload another one for you guys so you guys can kinda understand you know the process and everything like that so I actually have some images that's in already a PNG format so I'm just gonna head over to my downloads and upload that for you guys Sorry if my computer's a little bit slow today. I'm doing a lot of stuff at one time, so. Alright, so as I scroll through a list of images, um, alright, here's this star. Just, you know, you guys are familiar with the Mario star? Well, I'll just simply put Mario himself. He's an actual, an actual PNG image. He's a 256 by 256 files, um, file dimension. So I'm gonna press open and press done and you're gonna make sure it's on don't repeat 
and then I'm gonna press save. Okay, so as you can see, I press save, and there's the Mario on the top right hand corner of my website. And um, what I'm gonna do is go to events and scroll all the way down, and where I copy and paste the this CSS code, you want to make sure you copy and paste it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead back over to my website, and I'm gonna make sure I change that CSS to make sure it's at the bottom. It says right bottom, so I'm gonna change the position to left bottom, left bottom, and press save. And after you save, you're gonna see the final result. So forgive me again for you know the lag on it a little bit. Okay, it's not actually working the way I want it to. We'll click on tutorial, see what happens. Okay. Okay, so bottom. Oh, it's actually right there. All right, so it did work. I guess on the managed area, it was appearing on the top for some weird reason. But I'm just gonna quickly end this tutorial by changing it really quickly and um, seeing a managed area appears at the top I'm not sure why but it is pretty cool it gives you um gives your managed area a little style to it um, so I'm gonna change it back to bottom right hand corner type in right press save I'm gonna zoom in for you guys right there so that's what you're gonna want to change only that you don't add anything else to it you just change either right left like that all right so should be saving right now so it looks like it's at the top right hand corner but if I go to let's say my groups um, I just click on my groups tab here's my groups and if I scroll all the way down there you go there's Mario at the bottom right um, right hand corner so that was a um, pretty cool and helpful tutorial that I found on Ning Creators, and I hope you guys can enjoy this tutorial as well as I did. And um, enjoy more video tutorials coming from me soon. I'm going to be posting up some more, hopefully, on Creators, and they will feature this one as well. So you guys can um, take advantage of this and, you know, really customize the site. So this is me, Mike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, more tutorials coming soon, and peace. Cause my feelings for you are still